Oof. I've tracked George down to New Mexico's Museum of Space History, where he's about to take his quarterly test to check that his nose is still up to NASA standards. Great to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. What have you got here today? We have what we call the 10 bottle test. Right. Uh, seven primary odors, which are musky, minty, floral, ethereal, camphoraceous, pungent, and putrid. And the other three are blank. OK, number one is a blank. Oof. Well, let's try that one. Oh, man, that's <laughs> quite a... Uh... It gets up in your nose and burns. Yeah, pungent. <laughs> I'll give you that one. Yeah. OK, this one's camphoraceous. Oh, man, this is difficult. Number four. OK, this is actually floral. OK, five is a blank. Right, OK, so we've finished. Results are in. Yes, 10 out of 10. Were you expecting <laughs> anything less? I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you work for NASA, right. you work in the space industry, you've got a great nose. Right. Why is that relevant? The astronauts are in a confined space, so whatever they take with them uh, in there, uh, they have to live with for months. We try to control the, the materials that we put inside the capsule and make sure that it's not toxic. Now that we know just how super-powered George's sense of smell is, I want to uncover exactly what makes him biologically different to the rest of us. So I've called in an expert in cognitive neuroscience, Dr. James Kroger. So we've got 20 test tubes, and each one has a different smell in it. We're going to choose one to be a pretend dangerous smell. And George smells that dangerous smell. We want to see what brain activity is happening right then. And how strong or how weak are these? Oh, it's very, very weak. All right, so now we're going to be administering smells. Give him a good whiff, Carson. Let him smell it for a good long time. Okay. Got it. Okay. Got it locked in. <laughs> All right. Here we go. This is going to be exciting. George has indicated the target smell over and over again, but how accurate has he actually been? OK, I'm fairly amazed. I presented the target about 25 times, and every single time you detected it. But I'm not finished with this super sniffer yet. To push George's ability to the max, I've brought him to the White Sands National Monument to put him up against the incredible sniffing power of a dog trained to detect Class A drugs. Hans. Hey, how's it going? Hey, man, I'm Tom. Tom, nice to meet you. This is George. George, Hans. nice to meet you, George. Nice to meet you, Hans. We're going to set some narcotics out on the vehicles, and then we're going to run our dog, and then we're going to time it to see how fast George can find it against our dog. Take a little sniff so you can see how heroin smells like. How would you describe it? I don't know. <laughs> right, so what have we got here? So I'm going to plant some of the dummy cans onto the vehicles. Yeah. And then there will be a dirty one. And that's what they got to find. They got to find where the heroin's at. Anywhere the magnet can get on the car, go for it. All right. With two cars on which to put the canisters, there are plenty of hiding spots. And the dog's going to go first? Uh, definitely. He is uh, trained on narcotics and patrol. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at Oh, he's quick, George. <laughs> yeah. OK. Oh, is he picked something up? This is a change of behavior right here. As you can tell, he broke pattern. And now that's his final response. Wow. OK. <laughs> Ready? Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Let me All sniff right. the first can. OK. Let's see what else we got here. Sniff your way around the arches. Oh, my rubber tire. <laughs> OK, here's one. Oh, no, that's it. <laughs> sure? That's it. That is it. That is it. <laughs> what was my time? 
1 minute 44. So you oh. didn't beat the dog. In terms of speed, that was a tough challenge, but you absolutely, in terms of accuracy, you nailed the challenge. But we discovered that George's brain is uniquely wired, making his nose one of the most sensitive on the planet. Oh, no, that's it. <laughs>